Hello everyone. My name is Greg Niederhaus and uh, I'm here to introduce this doghouse which I've made as a donation towards an organization called MANA which means many animals in need of assistance. They're holding a fundraiser uh, up in Zube at a place called Titi T on January 11th and they're trying to raise money for stray dogs. So I don't have any money but I have woodworking skills and um, what I did was make this doghouse. And the reason I'm making this video is because I understand that most of the supporters of MANA are not very rich people like myself. And I made this house um, in, with, with the thought in mind that it would be, be for a, a, a rich person's chihuahua and placed in their living room or something like that. Uh, I think it's a piece to treasure and I, would, I, I wouldn't want to see it end up in the wrong hands. So let me just uh, point out a few things about this doghouse and explain to you why I think it's special. Now this is a doghouse I whipped together for Boyke and he seems to like it pretty good. But the point is that we're trying to raise money and I decided that why not try and make a doghouse fit for a a little queen princess chihuahua or something some sort of an animal that lives <laughs> uh, in a wealthy home um, wealthy or not all I want to see is that this this piece ends up in a home with people that appreciate it for what it is you know uh, initially I had a lot of scraps from this this project here this is a swimming a swinging baby cradle and I was attempting to create this rounded wood here and I hand joined with that planer each piece uh, four pieces like this and unfortunately it was an unsuccessful endeavor and I had to start from scratch and, and, and change my approach but it left me with those as scrap and when I started looking at how I was going to build this project I looked at all this other scrap I had this is a lot of wasted wood and I decided, aha, pieces like this could be the front. And pieces like this could be the sides. The rest of it is, is wood that I had in stock. I, I, I resawed it on this bandsaw here and planed it so I could get my decking wood and my roofing wood. On this side is showcased both heartwood and sapwood, sapwood being the lighter color and on this side is showcased solid hardwood joined together. Um, we can see here that I've added in some retaining arms so that the water bowl and the food bowl can be chomped at and slurped at and not fall off of the, the deck. This is a piece of wood that travels all the way through in a, in a dado joint and another one travels all the way back they give the roof something to be secured to. That beam there travels all the way back and joins at the most beautiful piece in the whole piece of work. It is wicked grain. Very, very beautiful. It's got a four cute little doggy feet to support it. And of course, it shows who made it. That's me. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I'll say about this at this point. I hope that you all come and support on January 11th attempt to raise money for all those poor dogs. This thing is up for auction and it's going to go to the highest bidder. I'm not in this for the profit, I'm in this for the animals and for promotion of my personal uh, endeavors, which is woodworking. Let's hope that this thing ends up in the in the right hands. I really hope that Whoever ends up with this doghouse values it for its quality and for the love that went into building it and for the cause of the dogs.
it's a titty tee and they need as much money as they can get because there's a lot of stray dogs out there that need meds, food, and homes. Let's all come together and try and do something positive. Thank you for watching.